What's up guys, this is Dorico Cherry coming at you from DoricoCherry.com and do you wanna know how you can be more persuasive in your network marketing business? Well, here in this video, I'm gonna share with you three things that you can start doing today to actually help you out with that. Okay, so here are the three things. The first thing you wanna do is, you wanna actually take yourself out of the conversation. And here's what I mean. Most people, when they get inside network marketing, they make it all about themselves. So when you go out and prospect someone, don't talk about how great your comp plan is. Don't talk about how great your product is. Put the focus on your prospect. Figure out what they want to achieve. Figure out what their dreams are, what their goals are. And you simply do this by asking questions. So one thing that I like to do is when I'm prospecting someone is I'll always lead off. I'll say, hey, are you open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? That's pretty standard. And if the person says yes, instead of going into a pitch mode, instead, I'll ask them why. Just simply ask them why. Why are they open to looking at a, you know, additional stream of income? That right there will change your recruiting all the way around. So just take the focus off yourself. The second thing I wanna share with you is, learn how to generate leads online. Now here on my blog, I talk about generating, about doing network marketing online. And part of that, a big part of that is learning how to market how to generate leads. Because here's the thing, when you have an abundance of people, you really not attack, that helps you get, you know, really detached from the outcome. So if you prospect someone and they tell you no, that they don't wanna take a look at your business or they're not interested, well, why do you care? Because you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever amount of other people to talk to. So when you start having a lead abundance, then that kind of helps change things up when you know when you're prospecting because you don't really care if one person says no because you know you have a whole list of you know x amount of people to talk to after that call so learn how to generate leads online the third thing that i want to share with you to help you become more persuasive is you want to make sure that um let's see what's a good way to put this you want to make sure that you operate your business like you're already making a million dollars a year Okay, I think that's a good way of actually doing it. Already uh, operate your network marketing business like you're making tons of money already. And here's why I say that. It's because people are repelled from needy people. So when you, now here's some signs of being needy. If you start, if someone shoots you down, you know, tells you that they don't want to take a look at your business, and then you start trying to go into convincing mode. You start trying to convince them, telling them how great this is and how big of a mistake they're making. When you start getting very talkative, that's a sign of being needy. When you are uh, constantly calling them, you know, uh, chasing them down, that's a sign of being needy. Uh, all those things, you don't want to do any of that stuff. So think about it like this. How would you operate if, so, if you was already making a million dollars a year in your network marketing business and somebody told you it was a scam or someone told you no? Would you, would you try to convince them otherwise? Probably not. You'll probably just keep it moving. So what I challenge you with is just start doing that now. Even though you may not be making the million dollars just yet, you want to operate your business when you're talking to people like you already are. And that right there will help you be more persuasive um, and just really change the whole dynamics of how you actually operate your business. And another thing I want to share with you is when you're talking about being persuasive, one of the core things that you want to uh, really get to when you're prospecting people is that you want to make it their idea. You want to make it their idea to actually join you. And it kind of goes back to the first tip that I shared with you when I talked about uh, taking yourself out of the equation and asking your prospects questions. Because one of the big things that's going to pull up resistance is when you're prospecting someone and everything is your idea. And that goes back to, you know, just talking about your business, talking about the car bonuses and, you know, stuff like that, that really doesn't matter to the person. So when you make it their idea, like when you ask them questions and they say something like, well, hey, I'm looking for, um, you know, uh, an opportunity to maybe earn some additional money because whatever, they want to go skydiving as a bucket list. I don't know, whatever. Uh, you can just simply package your network marketing business or your opportunity uh, in a way and, and actually show them how you can help them accomplish that. And then if they say no, you just simply say, well, if you're serious about skydiving and you don't do this opportunity, how else are you going to achieve that? Now, don't, I'm not, you, you don't actually have to 
take the uh, thing of skydiving word for word there, but you know, you just can insert whatever they tell you that I'm just using that as an example. But the key is you want to make it their idea to actually join your business. And you have to do that by pulling information out of them. Okay. So that's my, those are my three tips for you about being more persuasive in network marketing. I hope you got some value out of it. If this is your first time checking me out here on YouTube, consider subscribing because I release training here all the time. Uh, and then you can also check me out over on DoricoCherry.com and I have a free audio over there. 13 ways to generate leads online for your network marketing business. You can pick it up for totally free. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.